But first tonight at 6, teacher raises, private school vouchers, and Medicaid expansion. They are all included in the state budget proposal. The budget could get final approval tomorrow. This comes after months of negotiations between Democrats and Republicans. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake breaks down some of the major points that will have the biggest impact on you. Today, the House of Representatives and Senate both passed its second reading of the $30.9 billion state budget. The next vote is expected tomorrow, and if it passes, you can say hello to Medicaid expansion, teacher and state employee pay raises, and a lot more. Under the new budget, all North Carolina students could be eligible for vouchers to attend private school, regardless of their income level. According to Senator Berger's office, students with the highest level of family income could receive just more than $3,000, whereas students on the lower end of the income scale could receive more than $7,000. Public school advocates are concerned about the money of that public schools could lose if taxpayer money goes to fund private education. When we're siphoning off public funds to private and charter schools, um, that means that we're spending public dollars on schools where um, they have the ability to hand pick their students uh, and are not held to the same accountability standards that our public schools are. We believe that public dollars belong in public schools. Now, Republican lawmakers believe it's going to give families the choice whether they want to send their child to private school or not. Teacher pay raises are also a part of the budget. While some educators don't think it's enough of a raise, some lawmakers think it's a step in the right direction. I think we have put a budget together to try to address some of the entry level positions in a stronger way. Uh, we address some of the um, longer term with a higher increase and we are trying currently to address some of the entry level so that we don't have so much compression. Now passing this budget is also one step closer to expanding Medicaid to potentially cover 600,000 adults who don't qualify or make enough money for health insurance. Leaders briefly considered removing Medicaid expansion from the budget and tying it to expand gambling as a separate bill. Amber, thank you. The state budget proposal also includes a bump in state employee pay and also a cut in income taxes. If approved, state employees will get a 4% raise this year and a 3% raise next year. It also decreases the individual income tax rate by over three quarters of a percent by 2026. It could drop as low as one and a quarter percent more in the years after.